Right, so this is a little hacking of uh, creating a list of values for a parameter. So what we have is we have one view object which is called department by location and it has a condition here based on a bind parameter uh, looking up departments by their location. And the other thing that we will need is we need a place where there's actually a list of value defined um, for the department location ID. Right, so this is another view object, it's just the department's view and it has a location ID field in it right? and there's a list of value defined for it, you can actually double click it to see how the definition goes, it's uh, connecting to a view that fetches all the location by the location ID and it's using an input text with list of values and it's showing up the city okay so those are the two views that we have, we're going to create a screen that basically uses this view object. So, so go over and create a new JSF page. Right. And over here we can simply take the departments by location. There's the operation called execute with params, drag it into the page and create a parameter form like that. And drag the results over here as a read-only table. So we'll basically, if we run this page, we will now have a simple uh, input text where we can put in a department, or sorry, a location ID, and then get all the departments in that location. However, what we want to do is actually use a um, list of value component here. So one thing to notice is that you could use other components, uh, I think I showed it in another demo where you can actually, when you drag this parameter over, you can drop it as other things, like uh, select one choice and select one list, but you don't have the list of value here, so let's see how I can actually add a list of value. And what I'm going to do here is, I'm basically going to take an input list of value, right click on it and drag it over the component which will offer me the option to convert the component to a list of values. So what it's doing here is actually changing a little bit the binding and we'll fix it in a second. Right. So now I have a list of value component here but if you actually run the page at this stage you'll see that it doesn't work. Um, one of the main reasons is because there's no model defined for the list of values so there's no place where I can get the list of value from. And this is what I'm going to fix um, in the binding tab. Uh, as I mentioned, there's another thing that happened is that um, I'm going to copy the value of this field, right? So this value, just copy it, because when I'm going to the binding now, there's the execute with params, which has a parameter, and right now the value is not coming from the field that was on the screen, so I'm just pasting the value I just copied, so this would get the value from the field into the execute with params. Now let's go back, what we said we needed to do is create a list of value binding. So we create, we basically click the plus sign here, okay, and we choose a list of value binding. Right? And then we're going to choose um, one of the list of values, also one of the um, data controls that actually has a list of values associated with it, and that's the department's views. Right? And we remember that the location ID has the list of value a binding model associated with it, so we're going to choose this one. Okay, So we just added this little binding, which is a list of value type of binding, you can see it by the logo or the icon here, which is called location ID to our page. So now if we go back to the page and click the little component here, in the model property we can pop up the expression builder and navigate our binding we'll see here's the location ID binding okay, that we just defined, you can again uh, identify the icon if you scroll down you'll see that there's a property here called list of values model and you choose this one and this is the value for this field and this is it, you click save and you run your page right, so your page comes up you have this parameter here, click the little list of value icon you get the list of value search screen so you can look up for example all the cities that begin with S okay. find out the city you want, choose it, click OK and execute the query you get all the 
cities from this, oh, sorry, all the departments from this location again. Can bring up the list of value again. Again, look up another city that starts with us. This one, for example, choose this one now. Execute with params, and you'll get the department there. 